So welcome everybody. Welcome to Energy Play Shop number 37. Today is March the 2nd, 2023. The topic for tonight is, uh, I call it into the dimension. So we are, we talked a little bit um, about dimensional traveling, um, not last week, but the week before. So we are continuing on with that conversation. So tonight, I would um, do a bit of a review just to remind everybody what we talked about two weeks ago. And then the main thing tonight would really be going to the different dimensions and to experience what each dimension feels like and to talk a little bit about what you can do in each of the dimensions, how to use them in terms of healing, because I, as I um, mentioned about two weeks ago, is that my intention is mainly on healing. There is a lot of other experiences and knowledge that you can get from the different dimensions. However, I, I want to focus on one purpose, which is healing, because I really believe that our body needs a lot of support during this time, and that is really what we need it most. Um, and the um, going to the different dimensions actually gives us a quality of energy that is going to benefit us in, uh, in during this time. So before we begin, though, I would want to take everybody into a presence meditation just so that we can all come together and really be with our body which is working very hard for us during these times of energy upgrades so let's begin let's begin by taking in a deep breath so breathe in slowly And breathe out slowly as well. Breathe in again. And breathe out. Breathe in deeply again. Allow yourself to be fully inflated. And when you can breathe in no more, then start to breathe out slowly. And as you breathe out, let go of everything that does not support you in this moment. And take a few more breaths in. Just follow your own rhythm of breathing with the intention of slowing down your breathing as much as it is still comfortable for you. And use these few extra deep breaths to simply relax your body. Feel your shoulders coming down. Relax muscles in your body as much as possible. And when you feel more relaxed, then intentionally call back all of your energy and your attention to yourself. I just set that intention and just place your attention on yourself internally. Just put your attention on your body. If you want to place it in any particular body part, that's okay as well. But just come back to your body. Bring back all your energies, all your attention into your body. 
no need to think of what you've done during the day or what you need to do after. Just be here with yourself in this moment. And just choose to pay attention to you, to be absolutely selfish, to only think of yourself and focus on yourself in this moment. And after a while, you will start to feel when your attention and energy is back in your body. You feel your body becoming more solid, more substantial. And it's also easier for you to become more relaxed as well. And when you feel that, then you come back into the room and open your eyes if you have closed them. So welcome back, everybody. <laughs> so first, I just want to review what um, we have talked about. In the last um, the, the week before, and um, so let me just share screen and um, okay, not this one. I want to look at this one here. Okay, so so um. So two weeks ago, I mentioned that before we actually start to go to different dimensions, that there are several things that we really need to do to make sure that we can travel safely. Because when we go to different dimensions, the energies are different. And, and also, um, there are other beings that is vibrating, naturally vibrating at those different um, dimensions. So when you go into somebody else's domain kind of, then it is good practice to, so to do three things, I would suggest that make sure that you are grounded, meaning that you, you feel comfortable in your own skin that you're not um you're not off your game you're not you know um you're not in mourning or there's nothing really <clears throat> making you distracted or disturbed make sure that you are in a, a a um good state of mind so that's what i mean by you are grounded meaning that you can think rationally and you are in a good place in your own life so make sure you ground at first and definitely not a good idea uh, to take any kind of um drugs or medication or medication that is going to induce um hallucination so that's that really is taking you out of your game rather than making you more grounded. So make sure you um, are very grounded. You are very aware of your own state of mind being stable. Then that's a good foundation to take off to explore the other dimensions. And also before you um, go to different dimension is to have an intention first. It is, um, it's for a couple of reasons. First is you think a certain way when you are in 
this dimension. So this is the third dimension. So your your mind function at a certain way when you're here. But the higher dimensions, because the energy is different. So your brain is actually being exposed to different thoughts. So when you set an intention, it actually, um, it's easier for you to stay on course. So let's say you want healing, because this is my intention for, for um, all of you here then you know that you know, the, the things that you're going to attract to you is according to your intention because um, energy flows according to your intention. So set an intention first. And it depends on which dimension you go to. There are some dimensions that, um, for example, from six dimension onwards, it's, it's, you're pretty much, um, you're not thinking in human terms anymore. The, if you go to the seventh and, and especially the eighth dimension, it's, you will feel completely ex, expansive. You don't, the, 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 the worries that you may have while you're here just does not make any sense anymore when you get up to the eighth dimension. So if you don't set an intention before you start traveling to different dimension is um, not that there's anything bad going to happen. It's just that you may not get anything at all because you are really attracted to all the different new sensations that you will be completely um, just floating there and feeling like mush in your brain. So it's good to just set an intention. <laughs> so <laughs> whatever it is that you are you are attracting in is going to support what it is that you want to, to go to the different dimensions for. <clears throat> and the third major thing to do is really to set some protection because there, there are different um, beings out there. And, and like, even though they may be in higher dimension, that does not guarantee that they, their intentions are good for you in this dimension. Um, they may not be, they may not be um, bad people or bad entities. However, they have their own agenda. So they may, their agenda may not be for your highest good. So, so set some protection so that um, they may just be, you know, curious to, to you know, hey, <laughs> there's this blinking lights here let me just follow them and come back to this dimension just to play so um is is that's why it's best to put some protection on yourself so so that you know you're not bringing bringing back energies that may not be for your highest good so <clears throat> so the the protection that i've talked about is really to make sure that you um Your own energies are uh, are solid, and um, the eighth, so energy center number eight, which is eight inches above your head, so that is where the protection is. So just do some breathing to to um, set a uh, um, a a rhythm, uh, a steady rhythm for your body to balance your energy left and right and then also go back go up to the eight inches and pull down that energy three times so that the energy would be able to um, cover you cover your physical body because it's really your physical body that needs that protection and also make sure that you um, switch off your emotions because if you have no emotions then you most likely won't get into any trouble at all because it is really our emotions that attracts the energy. If you have no emotions, everything is just neutral, then you know, there's really no, there's nothing to attract any energies to you. 
So that's why we do the, the merging of the EC6 and the CK6 and then flip the EC6 on top, which is to make sure that you can um, become more neutral when you travel to the different dimensions. So those in a nutshell is um, the, the protection that we are going to do. And um, let's see what else. Um, okay, so also, so how to do the, and I also talked about that um, dimension gateways. And um, so we say that the, the third dimension is eight inches above. And then fourth dimension is 16 inches, which is you know a little bit too far for me to, to reach, is eight inches above. And fifth dimension is 32 inches, six is 64 inches, seven is 128. And eighth dimension is 256 and so on and so on. So however, those particular, um, like the 8, 16, 32, 64, those, those are actually just gateway, meaning that there, there is like energetically, there is, um, it's, it's a thin layer of, of it's like a, a gap in between those dimensions. It does not mean that, you know, um, nine inches, there's nothing there. No, it does not mean that. There are actually each of the, each inches is a different quality of energy. And in later days, we're going to talk more about uh, those other um, those other inches or those other layers. However, <clears throat> the the gateways is really the the defining. Um, there's actually a gate there. There's actually a gap there. That's why uh, the 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 image you see behind me, there is a defining um, like place there. So that's, that's is, is really the gateways. It, you can think of that as being the gateways. However, between 16 inches and 32 inches, like each of those, there are different energies that, that we can um, explore and different uses in there. And so are the other ones. So just to let you know that it's um, that's actually a lot of things that you can explore if you want to. And also we are traveling with just consciousness. <clears throat> there are two ways to travel. We can travel with our light body and we can travel with consciousness. And uh, with consciousness, we are a little bit more limited because consciousness we can feel we we can't really see we can't we can't hear um with consciousness we can we can feel and we can communicate and ask for information we can communicate from our consciousness to consciousness of that um particular energy so we can get a lot already just from traveling with consciousness Traveling with um, light body will be covered later on because um, it involves something that is more um, that needs to be developed. We have to be able to develop how to understand what we are seeing because we see in each dimension the energies as being um, interpreted by our brain in in different ways. For example. Um, beyond the, like in fifth dimension, there's actually way more colors than we, our eyes can um, catch in this, in our current dimension. So there would be, when we really get into the fifth dimension, there are colors that you have no words for right now because our brain can't even, um, we can't even see them, even though when we actually travel with our light body there, we may be able to see those different colors, but we have no words for them yet. So there will be um, sounds that we don't know how to interpret them. So we actually have to learn how to interpret those so that we can understand them. So it's, it's even though traveling with the light body, 
um, gives us more in information, more input, because we can see, we can hear, and really experience a different dimension. But we, right now, we don't quite know how to interpret them yet. So we have to first develop a way to interpret those extra information first. And then when we see and hear, we'll, we'll actually understand what we are seeing, and what we are hearing. So right now we're just doing the consciousness traveling and consciousness traveling is about feeling. So that's why um, going, it's feeling is more about the heart center. So, so we have to pay really a lot of attention in our heart center. And also I talked about that um, the, um, let's see. So I talk about that. Um, it's not, so, so the gateways, so let's say eight inches gateway, we want to go to 16 inches to fourth dimension. We have to make sure that the eight inch gateway is fully open. So a lot of times when we are under stress, um, the gateway would start to collapse. The more you are stressed, the more the, the, the gateway is going to collapse. So um, we have, we, I think last two weeks ago, I, I took you guys into experiencing what it feels like when we shut down the, the gateways and also what it feels like when it's 100% open. So we want to make sure that each of the gateways at the eight, 16, 32, and so on, those gateways is 100% open. <clears throat> so if we're going to 16 inches, then make sure the eight inches gateway is 100% open. And each of the, like the higher we travel, we have to also make sure that, that all of the lower gateways are absolutely 100% open. Because if you um, get information, if you're there for information, um, then uh, if the gateways are not open 100%, you can't really trust the quality of the information that you're getting. <clears throat> and right now, um, as we are traveling, just learning how to travel is to actually make sure that we um, go through the dimensions one at a time and not to skip from the third dimension all the way up to the sixth dimension. Um, yeah, because we want to make sure that as we go up, the gateways are open and um, that's part of the reason we want to do that. Sequ we want to go through the dimension sequentially at first, when you get really good at it and you can maintain your energy and maintain all the, the gateways open consistently, then you can go to any of the different dimensions. Not a problem at all, but you know, baby steps. So right now we are still, we still have our training wheels on. And how do we know that we are there? Because let's say we set an intention that we want to go to the fourth dimension, 16 inches, for example. So when we set that intention, first, we would feel that um, energies, because we are communicating with that gateway, and that we would feel energies leaving the body. So, and then it will stop for a bit. And then when the gateway is open, we feel a bunch of energies coming back. And we can feel that the energy is coming back is what it is that we, we um, specified when we can feel the pulse between our, uh, our palms. Like if we, uh, when they're synchronized, then we know that, okay, yes, we're there. So that is something that um, that's how we will be able to tell that we are actually there. And I uh, just want to go through one more thing and then we will start to go travel. Uh, so I just want to um, share screen with you again. 
just this is just a uh, very high level talk about so what can, what can we expect to be able to do for the different planes that we're going to so 3d is physical plane so we are we are here already and 4d fourth dimension is time related so we still have time there time we can still say okay um i want to go on vacation tomorrow is that a good idea like if we want to ask something like that we can still ask that question is time because time is still within the fourth dimension there's still this that quality of time but once we get into the fifth dimension there is no time and no space and if you want to specify is it a good idea to go on vacation tomorrow let's say um that question will just knock you out of the fifth dimension because there's no time no space what do you mean by you know tomorrow what is tomorrow that time is just not even a concept in the fifth dimension and then in the sixth dimension there is no emotional information you like if you feel really happy when you are uh, let's say when you start to before you go travel you are still um feeling very happy but once you get up to the sixth dimension um you feel nothing because there's no emotional information anymore and then seven dimension is where um you can actually see through things and it's actually um um it's, it's where it's actually quite possible feasible to fix something like cancer because you can actually see through to the, the the cancer cells and when you get up to eighth dimension there is no form it's pure consciousness so things that you can do in fourth dimension so healing aches and pains so minor things um, fourth dimension so fifth dimension you can still heal um those things uh, and also things that are about like if there's things that um ailments that is really due to some dna being uh, corrupted like because of let's say exposure to um minor exposure to radiation because you've been on the computer for too long then those things you can fix uh, yourself in fifth dimension and in the sixth dimension because sixth dimension is um is a plane of energy that is specifically to prepare you to go into even higher dimensions that's why the sixth dimension the the, um, the purpose is to allow you to let go of any emotional baggage so sixth dimension is really good for healing emotional pain anything emotional then sixth dimension is where it's it's best to go and then the seventh dimension is also healing like me um, I already mentioned fourth and fifth dimension is really healing the body. Seventh dimension is also healing body, but it is more the, um, the existential level healing. For example, the existential meaning that um, ailments that you're actually going to die from, like cancer, those things that you you can actually die from, that you if you don't resolve them, you're not going to exist anymore. That's what I mean by existential level healing. So heavy duty and body healing you need to go up to seven dimension but if it's just something minor just aches and pains nothing too um nothing too major then yes fourth dimension um or fifth dimension the only difference between the two is just how fast because fifth dimension is obviously um faster than fifth dimension so um any questions before I actually go, before we actually go to uh, experience fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension.
So you are controlling the whole thing. The fact that I'm tired, it's no problem. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> are we so, going to go to the seventh? Um, I'm not going to go to the seventh um, because I'm not sure if we have time to today. But um, um, can you go to the to this to the sixth dimension? Say to help yourself clear the the emotional stuff that we need to clear to help our body cope with the energy. Yep, that's what the okay. sixth dimension is for. Okay, cool. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. so those okay any other questions <clears throat> okay great in that case i'm gonna stop the